Hey folks, PC7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Agricultural Simulator 2012. And today we are breeding rabbits. No, just kidding. Actually, we are going to do something completely different today. It just happens though that since I've logged in and since it does say next day and I really, really like making money. Although, as you can see, I have managed to amass a... How is it put these days in a gangster movies? Oh, a fat stack of Benjamins. <laughs> I just think that's hilarious. I don't know. There ain't nobody on our money named Benjamin anyway, so it's probably even funnier if you're Canadian. But, uh, yeah, $2.3 million. That's million dollars, yes, indeed. So, rabbits are a rather profitable. And as you can see right now, they are a pretty sick price. <laughs> wow, I think that's the highest they've been so far. So we are, of course, going to sell a couple of them. But our focus today is to begin the real money-making venture in this particular game which is the biogas plant because just like in the farming simulator series where you can uh, ooh, you sir we are gonna sell unos dos thousands okay okay because just like in uh, the farming simulator series biogas plant can be a very very lucrative thing um, they buy both manure and, um, what's called energy corn. Well, actually the silage thereof, because energy corn, you don't actually harvest the corn itself. Um, I believe it's what we used to call cow corn. It's not, uh, not an actual food item. It was made into silage for the cows. That's why they called it cow corn. But in this case, the, uh, the silage gets sold directly to the biogas plant. And you will, as you play the game, quite often get a little thing pop up saying the biogas plant requests this amount and this amount. And those are basically contracts that you can accept and or decline and they will, like the missions in Farming Simulator, pay you not only the normal value of your crop, in this case silage, but they will put a nice little, you know, contract bonus on top of it, so that it's better than just the selling of it. Now, I understand that when you look at a rabbit and you look at a cow, and you think of a cow taking a poop, and then you look at a rabbit, and you go, "Damn, you're lucky you get out of the way, dude." Oh no, where? What was I actually? T oh right. Um, you figure, well, just how much, you know, slurry could we have to sell? Well, you'd be darn near shocked, because <laughs> uh, I looked into it, and um, yeah, we're already topped out. In fact, we've got about a quarter of a million dollars. If we just straight sold our slurry right out of here, uh, we could make a quick quarter mil. So yeah, we could easily slam that up to the three mil mark right now. However, like I said, um, in fact, if we, uh, where the heck is it here? Where does it show? Oh, I know where. And a silly boy right there. Yeah, you see, we currently have, wow, <laughs> uh, 5,798.71 cubic meters of de pupin. And it's right now going apparently for a darn good price. In fact, if we sold everything we had, we would make, wow, 671.9. <laughs> so there you go, well over a half a million dollars currently. So, uh, you know, I mean, yeah, rabbits might like just make little raisins, but I'll tell you, there's more than uh, two scoops of raisins in this particular box. Boy, oh boy. So what are we going to do about all of this? Well, I think what we should do is uh, skip to the next day and sell some rabbits. No, I'm just kidding. Let's get on with this. Let's go to our worker tab. Now, workers hired, zero. This will not do. We are going to hire Ewan, certainly. Yes, are you sure you would like to buy this item? Ewan, my apology, buddy. Um, 
<laughs> this is the one and only time I will refer to you as an item, sir. Yes. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is immediately upgrade you in, okay? Because, uh, well, it's a good thing to do. So, if we go here, we can upgrade his driving skills. Yes, please. And we will raise this right to the top. Alrighty. Now, we will raise his driving skills for all vehicles. Okay. Now, the driver's license will just allow him to drive certain things. I believe one star, and he can drive just tractors. Um, two stars, and I think the heck is it, can drive the tractors with certain extensions, and three stars, you can drive combines. And then depending how well, how quickly, and how profitably he can drive that combine, you can jack up his combine license. There we are. Thank you, Ewan. I'll be back to you in just a moment, sir. Because I have lots for you to do, but no way yet to do it. So, we're going to go in here, and the first thing we're going to look at is a fine, fine tractor for Mr. Ewan. Uh, I'm thinking, what do we got? Ooh, we got a really nice Fent 933. What do you think of that, buddy? Hmm? No, you're more of a Massey man? Alrighty. Because I'm pretty sure we can uh, buy you a gecko. <laughs> no, I think... Uh, what do we got here? 213 horse gecko. Alright, or... Do, 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 If we go with a Massey, 390 Lola for 180,000. The 340 PS, they don't list a horsepower, it's the PS. Eh? Oh, 340 horse, oh wow, that's considerably more. And the Lola? 390 horse. Alrighty, hmm. Now that's not the purple frickin' thing, is it? I hope not, man. Alright, I think we'll buy this for Ewan. Yes, please. Okay. And we would like now an extension. And in this case, Mr. Ewan, since you got such a nice big old plow, what do we got here? The oh, Turn that off. Euro pal uh, working 1.6 meter. No, we can go better than that. Certainly, certainly. Where's the other plows? Here we go. We get lollagers, fours, sixes. All right, what do we need for this? The lollager six mofo. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you and you mofo, grab the plow and get out on the field. Yeah, I like this a little better, eh? All right, we are gonna purchase ourselves a lollager mofo. All right. Yes, I'm sure I want to buy that item. Okay. Now we have a couple of things. Let's go back to Ewan, shall we? Ewan, my friend. Idle? Do you know how much I'd pay you? Not darn nearly enough. All right. We want you to take the Massey. We want you to... None. Oh, front extension. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I do know which end of a tractor this goes on, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, boy. And then we're going to select the land. Now, we have A15 and A17. You know what? I don't remember which one's bigger. But let's uh, let's start them on A17. And, uh, yeah. Start the job, please, sir. And, you can see, he just, uh, huh. we actually look out here, we'll see him twaddling off down the road. There he goes. All right, you and my man. Excellent. Okay, and he will go off and plow that field up for us. So, what we want to do now 
is um, I'm going to go back in here and I would like to start upgrading all of this stuff. Now this isn't cheap, but this is why I made sure we had tons of money. Yes. And we're going to upgrade the repair shop. Alright. And the car wash. Uh-huh. Well, you can upgrade that as well. Alright. I don't know what the difference is. You think they'd either bloody well wash it or not. It's like, yeah, we'll wash it or we'll really wash it. Okay. Now we have the best darn garage, including a full fuel reservoir. We're going to fill our reservoir, because yes, you do have to pay for your fuel. Again, if you simply crack the very uh, last digit there, the 10,000 digit, uh, you generally find it'll be less, and so it'll give you your max amount. And yes, we are going to now fill our reservoir. And we don't need to. Now we have these options, right? We can actually have up to six tractors, 14 extensions, six big extensions, and 5,000 liters of fuel. So very nice. And uh, in fact, if you were to uh, take a little booty loop, there's our garage now. So you can see it actually physically upgrades every single building as well. So that's really, really cool. I mean, like I said, this game has a lot going on for it. You know, it's... Uh, other than the sound assets for running, they completely <laughs> suck. I thought I saw uh, Buddy you in there. Hmm. Oh, there he is. Check it out. So yeah, one thing I don't advise, though, is uh, you probably don't want to be doing the whole buy, sell, and trade rabbit things by advancing day after day after day. Because I do believe you pay you and by the day. And just like farm sim, and I used to shake my head when I'd see people hire a worker, and then you'd look up and their time would be at 120x, right? Because the worker doesn't go 120 times as fast in the field, it still takes him the same amount of time. The only difference is, is you do pay him by the clock hour. <laughs> so yeah, people were paying him 120 times basically what they needed to. And the same sort of deal here, right? You'll, it'll cost you more than what you'll ever get out of these fields. So, and yeah, like I say, what we're going to do is we're going to plant energy corn on this field and on the other one as soon as he's done plowing this one brings the gear back then I will get him a going on the other one um, they do a really good job by the way the hired workers on this thing yeah they're awesome so you can just simply I mean at this point I could actually just buy another tractor and another plow and you know another worker and uh, I could hire Zachary and we could have him plow our other field get that ready to do the same thing in fact that might be a most Excellent idea. Let's go up here. Do 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 do, and we will be buying it. Tractor. Boop. And this time we are going to buy. Yeah, uh, what did we get? Uh, I want to buy a nice fent, I think. So we can get a 933 Vario, eh? How much is that? 330 horse. That will do. A big fan of these I like these tractors so although actually you know what I think uh, yeah I do like those tractors I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till the uh, biggest one is available and then I'm gonna buy it for me so we got a 213 horse gecko no that I'm not fond of so how about what do we got in Voltres? the biggest Voltra 236 that's not going to do it either so it looks like I'm going to buy myself another Massey uh, there we go please yes thank you and we're going to buy another extension I don't need that up there anymore uh, extension buy for me please do 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 a lullager six mofo 
that is our uh, basically what we can do for these eh? cultivators yeah all right so we will get ourselves another big mofo yes please do 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 and now we are going to hire a worker we're gonna hire Zachary honest hard worker in his forties from southern Italy Henry Hargraves he can still handle a flail and a scythe <laughs> well we'll leave you there to flail Mr. Chamberlain we're gonna hire Zachary sorry Zach I know you're not an item either buddy so now same thing you want to make sure that all your guys are as good as they can be you can see we've chewed through the money pretty good and uh and then you can imagine when you're going to be getting seven or eight thousand dollars for an entire field of crops how long it would take you to afford these sort of upgrades just by going through each and every crop that's why i've always sort of thought this was a much better um management game than an actual simulator and select land a15 you uh head on her boy and there we go yeah i don't know why they choose this view if you uh, decide to leave these on because as soon as you turn it off, it's like, hello? All right, so, let's go back to the main board. You can see we're down to 1.79. Now, as soon as these guys are finished doing what they're gonna do, um, we can again, you know, skip on. Like I say, we're sitting on a fair chunk of coin now, but we could quite easily just simply skip on and sell another packet of rabbits so let's check out fields what do we got we've got a 1.7 hectare that's already cultivated very nice all right currently as we can see though land prices are up a little bit hmm this one done not much i mean less than a half of a percent but this one's up fairly high so we'll see what sort of prices these are by the time our guys are done and then we may well buy those so there you go i think that's going to do it for this time around guys we covered what we needed to cover our farm is now underway we have a plan we're going to get rich off the biogas factory yeah <laughs> because quite frankly selling rabbits for a month yeah, I don't know. That might be fun if you're a member of the 4-H club, but if you're a farmer, I'm betting you that gets real dull. So, please hit the like button for me, guys. It does me a world of good. And uh, leave lots of comments. Love chatting. Till next time, though, this has been Species 7 from Agricultural Simulator 2012. <laughs> I almost forgot you could tell. Till next time, guys. Take care of each other. Ciao for now.